This is a guide for individual subscribers to Primary Digital. You will see this page once you are logged into the LMS, the Learning Management System. You will be able to see any announcements that may be posted by our administrators. Next I'll click on the Content tab in the Navigation Toolbar. You will see your purchase content in this section. Click on the appropriate grade level to view the full list of resources. I've clicked on Grade 2. On the left are the topics. More towards the center of the page under the title column are the subtopics or individual lessons. The next column is the type of resource. The teach resources are ready-made lessons each covering a learning objective. Each teach breaks the idea down into guided, manageable parts to facilitate teaching. These resources allow instructors to instruct using their own teaching styles when presenting lessons. These resources can be used as interactive aids for teaching. Next is the Learn component. The Learn resources are multimedia lessons each covering a learning objective. Adopting the concrete pictorial abstract approach, these animated and fully narrated lessons develop students' conceptual understanding effectively. The instructor can go through these lessons beforehand to learn strategies for teaching a concept and gain insight into why a concept is taught in a certain way. The instructor can then go back and use the teach component with the student. These lessons can also be used to provide additional support for students to revisit lessons or remediation. The Learn component is also available in Spanish. The guided learning resources comprise practice questions that allow students to apply newly learned concepts and skills and check their understanding. The questions in each guided learning are scaffolded with varied levels of guidance to promote students' confidence and gradual independence. After conducting a lesson using the Teach component, guide students through the first question. You may then ask students to work on a printed copy of the remaining questions. The practice resources aim to assess students' understanding and develop fluency and critical problem-solving skills. The assist resources are practices to help students who require extra support to acquire new skills with more guidance. After a learning objective has been covered, assign the corresponding assist practice to struggling students as a printed worksheet to strengthen their foundational understanding of concepts. The benchmark practices enable students to to consolidate newly learned concepts and skills and gain fluency. After a learning objective has been covered, assign the corresponding benchmark practice to the on-level students as a printed worksheet to reinforce their learning. You may also encourage struggling students who have attempted the assist practice to attempt this practice. You may view a resource by clicking on its title. Next, I'll click on the test resources. The pre-test component, which is found at the start of every topic, assesses students' prior knowledge to gauge their readiness for the new topic. Prior to starting a new topic, we can print out a PDF version for students to attempt and then we can grade. The post-test component, which is found at the end of every topic, assesses students' understanding of a topic. After the completion of a topic, we can print out the PDF version for students to attempt and then grade. There are also numerous challenges to enhanced learning. As I scroll down, you can see that there are extensive resources for each grade. At the end of every grade, there is also a grade test component. This serves as a summative assessment. Use the printed copy as an assessment after all of the topics have been completed. To preview a test, 
we simply click on its title. Here you can see we can access the answer key since we are logged in as an instructor. To view or download the PDF, we simply click on the PDF icon. To end the preview, I'll click on the Close tab on the upper right hand side. Through the use of interactive multimedia and effective instructional strategies, the primary digital program aims to make teaching easier for instructors and learning more enjoyable for students.